So today now we are looking at understanding nets, okay? Now in maths, net is not a fish and net. It's all about shapes, okay? It's about 3D shapes and how they look as 2D shapes. Now, the best way I can describe this is think of when you have recycling at home, okay? You have a box from those very famous shops. When they are delivered at home, then you have to rip them open so they can go in your recycling box or your recycling bag as flat as possible, okay? So this is about visualization and about identifying different shapes. So, we then have different shapes here, and they have their, their nets as well. Now we have to match these up. So, we're gonna look at different faces, okay? The faces are the 2D shapes that are on these 3D shapes, okay? So here we can see our faces consist of squares, for this one here. Here, our faces consist of rectangles and squares. Here, we have circles, and then just think of what that side of that cylinder will look like when it's flat. Here you can see we've got rectangles and triangles, and on the bottom there we have uh, we have a square at the bottom, and then some triangles as well. So we have to identify those 2D shapes very well. Okay, then we're gonna think about our 3D shapes. Now, this is obviously a cube, a cuboid a cylinder, a triangular prism, and then a square-based pyramid. So now we have to use some visualization. Okay, if I have this cube and I have to unpick the corners on the, on, the, on the edges, if I was to use a knife or a pair of scissors and open it out to make it look flat, which one of these will that one look like? Well, that one would be this one here, okay? We then have to visualise, imagine folding up these corners. Does it make a cube? Yes, it does. So here now we have squares and rectangles look on here which one has squares and rectangles well, it has to be this one so that one would match to that one so i'm identifying those faces here now we have two circles top and bottom on the cylinder and then when you think about the outside was laid flat it'd be a rectangle so this cylinder would match this net here now this was done for us we have triangles on the sides and then three rectangles, like a Toblerone sort of shape, how they fold them all up, up on top of each other. Here we have a square-based pyramid. So if it's a square-based, it's gonna have a square and it's gonna have some triangles as well. But then you can see process of elimination, you can see that has to match that one there. Okay, so let's go through those shapes again. Here we've got a cube. Here we have a cuboid. Here is a cylinder. Okay, like a Pringles tube or a baked bean tin. Here we have a triangular prism. Triangular prism. And here then we have a square based pyramid, okay? Again, we have to identify our different 2D shapes first before we can pick the net of which it corresponds to. So, Similar sort of thing now, now it's the other way. So we have to look at our 3D shapes first, identify our 2D shapes, our flat shapes, uh, within these shapes here. So here again, we've got circles and that rectangle. So let's match that one up straight away, just circles and a rectangle. Here I can see triangles and I can see rectangles. Look on here, can I see triangles and rectangles? Yes, I can. Be that one down there. Here's a cube, it consists of six faces, but those faces are all squares, only squares. Which one here only has square faces? Well, it has to be that one. And here, square-based pyramid, there's the square with the triangles. So, identify those shapes, use them to help match them up, but also you've got to be very good at identifying what 3D shapes they are first, okay? And remember, visualization is key, okay? Remember, you have to a picture unraveling these shapes, okay? Cutting down the little folds, laying it flat. Remember, recycling. Okay, so hope it helps. Have a good go.